Hello coders, welcome back to Tutor and So guys, are you tired of writing repeated Telvin CSS classes in every component of your website? Then guys, the good news is that you don't have to do that. You can write Telvin CSS classes in CSS way by selecting with one class or one ID and and styling all the similar components with single class. And you can do this with the help of at the rate apply directive of Telvin CSS. And with the help of add the apply directive, you can style your component with the custom CSS along with Telvin CSS classes. And, and guys, in this way, you can style multiple of your similar components with the help of single class. But should you really do this? Guys, don't do this for the sake of clean code because in this year, you are losing the code advantage of Telvin CSS that is to not leave your HTML or your template for styling your website. And again, if you are writing all of your Telvin CSS classes in a separate CSS file and you are writing classes to all of the components, then it will be hard to remember all the classes which you are using in your project when the project gets bigger. But guys, there are situations when you can use this method to style your website with the other applied directive of Telvin CSS. And, and guys, one situation can be if you are using a button component in your website multiple times and you want to style all of them with the Telvin CSS and, and the styling is almost the same as every component. Then you can style those with class and add that as apply directive. And guys, in my case, I'm creating a card with an image inside that. And, and guys, as you can see here, every card component has the same styling and the same Telvin CSS classes inside that. So guys, in this case, we can eliminate this by writing a separate CSS class and style all of the cards component with add that apply directive in custom CSS file. And guys, another situation may be where you are fetching data or HTML template from a CMS or any other API and you are rendering that in your project. Then you don't have control over those HTML tags and you don't know what elements are coming. But you can predict them and style them with the help of add the red apply directive. So guys, first of all, let's learn how we can do this. And, and for this tutorial, I am using this responsive grid project which i have shown in earlier video and in this you can see and guys as you can see in this project i have created a responsive grid layout with the help of grid of telling css and i have created multiple cards with the image inside them but guys styling of all the cards are the same and we are repeating all of those telling css classes in every card component here so now we are going to remove these classes from this card component and we are going to style all of those card components from a CSS file. And guys, before doing this, I have to make one thing clear that you, that you cannot use this method when you are using the Telvin CSS from Telvin CSS CDN or the Play CDN. To implement this method, you have to use the Telvin CSS CLI, which is the NPM package of the Telvin CSS. And and guys, as you can see here in this project, I have created an index.html file and in which I am using Telvin CSS classes and I have created card components inside that. And after that, there is an input style.css where, where I have imported Telvin CSS layers and from this Telvin CSS layers, we are generating an output CSS that is output style.css. And to generate this, we are using the watch command of Telvin CSS which you can see here to build output CSS from this input CSS and and Telvin is going to check inside this index.html for Telvin CSS classes then going to build this output style.css so that's the configuration guys so let's start our tutorial and so guys first of all you can see here I have created these card components with the class of card and guys this class is present in every card component here and if you don't have written any common class inside your component then you can write a common class like card or button then you can apply the css to all of them from a css file like this and inside this css file i'm going to write as the red layer components and we are going to start a curly braces and into that and guys inside this we are going to write the selector to select the card component like we do in CSS and we have to start a curly braces and in the curly braces and after that you can write custom CSS styling here 
so guys now we can install these all card components from here and we are going to copy this stylings from one card component and paste inside this and now we are going to remove these stylings from card components inside the html file and now you can see there is only one class inside the card component that is card with the help of which we are selecting these card components and and styling these card components from our css file and to style this we have to write apply and now these classes will be added to all of the card components so let's save it then you can see guys this is working as it was working before but now we have removed all of the classes from card components and all the card components have only one class that that is card and now we're styling this from our css file and guys we are doing this because we had repeated the same classes inside all of the card components and this was getting messy but you don't need to do this inside a div like this where you are using these classes for only one time and you are not repeating this multiple times so this feature could be very helpful but you have to use it very carefully so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something new from this video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to your trend for more videos like this and once again thank you for watching this video stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial